hello online viewers welcome to our lecture video in this lecture video we will be using the false position method and we will be solving the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 and we will and we will be finding the roots of this equation correct to four decimal places and we will be using uh, and we will be uh, solving this by setting functions in our calculator so we can find the uh, roots uh, easily and quickly without uh, with less errors so now firstly uh, before jumping in, into the solution of this equation firstly i like to describe our false position method in false position method we'll be choosing a and b such that f a times f b is less than zero which is same as that of bisection method which we have already talked in the previous video whose link you can find in the description box below and we'll be finding our x such that a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a so we'll be using this formula when we know our a and b when we know our interval a and b we'll be finding our root x in this way uh, in this way so now here so now let me begin the solution portion so firstly we'll write uh, so firstly given f x equals to x cube minus x minus 1 and our uh, here our tolerance equals to and here our tolerance simply equals to four decimal places this is given in our question only our tolerance equals to four decimal our tolerance equals to four decimal places therefore our error e equals to 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus n so we get 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 here our value of n is so we get that 0 0.0005 so what does this uh, e refers to means this refers that our fx needs to be less than or equal to 0 0.0005 or our b minus a needs to be less than or our b minus a needs to be less than or equal to 0 0.0005 our uh, our uh, b minus a needs to be less than or equal to 0 0.005 next we let a equals to 1 our first approximation uh, is going to be let a equals to 1 such that f a such that f a equals to f 1 equals to uh, we uh, put the value of 1 in this equation in f x so we get 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 1 less than 0 here our f a is less than 0 and now we need to choose f b such that it must be greater than 0 we need to choose f b in such a way that it must be greater than 0 such that f a times f b uh, will be less than 0 so now let i'm going to choose b h2 such that f b equals to f2 equals to equals to 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 so we get this as 5 which is greater than 0 therefore our f1 times f2 is less than 0 minus 1 times 5 is minus 5 which is definitely less than 0 now our first approximation is our first approximation is approximation is x equals to a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a so right now we are using false position method and 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 we'll be calculating our x in this way so now we get this as this equals to our value of a is uh we have to the value of a to be one into into our value of f b is f b is five minus our value of b is two into our, and our value of f a is minus one divided by f b is five minus f a is minus one so we get uh, this to be five plus two divided by five plus one which is seven divided by six and this comes to be one point one six six seven one point one six six seven now uh, now we need to uh, now for our further calculation we need to uh, now for our further calculation we'll be using uh, ta tabular form so 
so now we have created our table this way and we'll be uh, running this end until we get our fx uh, fx to be less than or equal to 0 0.0005 so now first for our first iteration one we have chosen our value of a to be 1 and b to be 2 a is 1 b is 2 so we have simply written written that down and our x so our x is our x will be using this formula a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a and our f x is x cube uh, minus x minus 1 so and and here i'll be writing down and and here i'll be writing down my uh, remarks so before uh, so for, i'm going to uh, next i'm going to teach you how you can set up the function in your calculator so that you can uh, so you can do uh, do this process uh, more quickly and easily so here so here right now we uh, we need we need to calculate uh, two main things which is x and fx and our here x is given by the formula a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a and our fx is given by x cube minus x minus 1 so we need to set both of this in our calculator so we'll be setting this in such a way that c equals to and is to we'll be uh, we'll be putting this x in equals to and this as so we'll be putting this by c as well so we uh, go to our calculator so firstly i click shift and mode shift and mode shift and mode and i need to uh, firstly i need to fix my decimal as my question uh, uh, says uh, says tells me to find correct up to four decimal places correct up to four decimal places so i'll be entering the value four and uh, four for fixed firstly next i'll click on alpha and then c alpha and after clicking on alpha and c firstly i need to set this function so i click on uh, so i click on this equals to not this equals to, not the equals to uh, not the equals to down below this equals to so i get alpha equals to next i need uh, this function a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a so i click on a into uh, so first let me put on this command uh, this a into f b your f b means uh, i'm uh, i'm giving the value of b in this equation which is b cube minus b minus 1 so this is b cube minus b minus 1 b cube minus b minus 1 minus uh, b times so now i need to set b into f a now f a means uh, a cube minus a minus 1 so a cube uh, a cube minus a cube minus a click on alpha and click over here so here you can see the b c and d are uh, i need to set some variables i can set any variables uh, and, and in order to set our variables first i need to click on alpha and then click on my variables so a cube minus a minus 1 divided by f b minus f a so for our f b this is simply going to be um again b cube b uh, set b cube minus uh, set b cube minus b minus 1 minus a cube minus a minus 1 next i need to put uh, this this uh, is 2 you can see over here click on alpha and click over here I get h2 uh, is 2 I need here uh, x cube minus x minus 1 I need I need to calculate fx as well so I'll be simply setting uh, c cube minus c minus 1 so I have uh, at first I have set the variable c as you can see over here I have set my variable c and I need to, I need to set the same variable at the last as well for x c cube minus c minus 1 so after doing this what i simply need, need to do is i need to click on calculate i need to click on calculate don't click this equals to you'll get a syntax error so click on calculate so now it tells me to enter the value of a so i have my value of a as one i enter one and my value of b is two i enter value two so after doing this i get my value of uh, x as 1.167 so let me enter that my value of x is 1.167 1.167 and my value of fx for a value of fx i need to i need to click this equals to one more time 
and I will get my value of fx as minus 0 0.57857 minus 0 0.5787 so here uh, so here our graph uh, A is so here our graph A is negative is negative and our uh, FA is negative and our FB is positive so let me write that over here FA is negative and FB is positive so after doing that so uh, as I got my value of FX as negative so I need to replace the so what I need to do is I need to replace uh, my value of A by 1.167 1.167 while the value of B remains same so here our remarks is FX is less than 0 so A gets replaced a gets replaced by x so in case if we if we had got or the value of fx to be positive the value of b will be replaced by x so uh, so uh, so likewise in bisection method we need to follow the same step now uh, looking at the value of uh, looking at the value of uh, fx a or b uh, a or b gets uh, replaced by x so now I, uh, so now I go back to my calculator again. I click on equals to. So now my value, my value of A has changed from 1 to 1.167. So I do, do the same. 1.167. I change the value of 1. While the value of B remains same. Then I get my value of. Uh, then as you can see. Uh, let me click on calculate over here. My A is 1.167. Equals to B is 2. Then I get my value of C as 1.2533. 1.2533 and my value of x fx is minus 0 0.2848. Minus 0 0.2848. Again, same remark. The value of fx is less than 0. So here A gets replaced. So here the value of A gets replaced by 1.2533. 1.2533 while the value of b remains same so i go uh, so i go back i click on equals to one more time now for now for the value of a i put 1.2533 while the value of b remains same i click on equals to one more time and i get my value of uh, value of c which is uh, my value of x which is 1.2935 so i write down write it down over 1.2935 i click on equals to uh, one more time uh, then I get my value of fx as minus 0 0.1292 again the same remarks again the value of fx is less than 0 so again I replace a by x so 1.2533 gets replaced by 1.2935 while the value of b remains same so now again I go back to my calculator click on equals to I replace the value of a by 1.2935 I simply do this while the value of b remains same and i get my value of i click on equals to and i get my value of x as 1.3113 while my value of fx is minus 0 0.0565 0 0.565 again the same remark again the since the value of fx is negative i need to replace a by 1.3133 1.3113 while the value of b remains same so I need to uh, repeat this process until I get uh, until I get uh, until until this happens until fx is less than 0 0.005. So I need to do this. So so let me skip to the portion where I get that value. So now as you can see I have done the same process till uh, uh, 11 times uh, so in my 11th uh, 11th iteration uh, I have got my value of fx to be minus 0 0.002 so up to my 11th iteration the all my uh, all my all the value of fx are negative so I am so I am just replacing the value of a by uh, a by x in each and every step so as you can see here the value of a is replaced while the value of b which is 2 has remained same this is because the f the value of fx is uh, just comes negative there are no positive values of uh, fx so now in my 12th step so again i need to replace the value of a by x since the value of fx is negative so i get 1.3247 our b is 2 so i go back to my calculator so as you can see here once we have set the function this process has become really easy and less tedious so i click on equals to so now my value of a, I need to replace the value of a by 1.3247, 1.327, I click on equals to, uh, while the value of b remains same, click equals to one more time, then I get my value to be 1.3247. So as you can see here, the value of x is uh, is not changing, it is remaining same, 
and my value of f x is a 0 0.000 so i have finally got my answer so here therefore my required root for this equation is required root equals to 1.3247 so in this way by using false position method i find i found the root of the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 so if you uh, so if you liked our uh, video any, any if it was of any help to you do subscribe the channel like the video and if you have any queries do comment down below uh, thank you